Hello and welcome to She Knows It tutorial number two. Today we're going to be looking at how we can create and run Java programs. You're going to need to have completed the first tutorial to be able to do this. I'll put up all the code that we use today up on the website so you don't have to type it out from the video. You can just go to www.shenoza.com and have a look at the tutorial blog and that will have the source code. So I've written my program in this file on my desktop, test java. Here's my hello.java file. For Windows users you're going to have to do this little step first to be able to see the file extension. So if you're running Vista, push Alt, otherwise you can just go to Tools, go to Folder Options, go to View, and just down here you can see the little checkbox, Hide extensions for known file types. Make sure that's not checked, make sure there's no tick there. Push Apply and OK. So how did I get this hello.java here? Well basically I just went new and created a text document and put in hello. Now you can notice that this has got hello.txt and that's got hello.java. Basically you just have to rename this text file. So you can push F2, that's a shortcut to rename in Windows and just type in Java. Push enter and just say yes to the little message that pops up. So now you've got your hello.java file. You can open this up in any normal text editor. So you can use your notepad if you want. I'll be using a special type of notepad called Notepad++. And basically, well, the reason why I'm using that is that it's got code colouring and it indents my code nicely as well. The first thing to notice in this hello program is this class here, it's called hello. You'll notice that it's exactly the same as the name of the file. So hello.java, you can see the case is exactly the same, it needs to be exactly the same. The other thing to notice in here is this public static void main. This is called the main method. And the main method is where your Java program starts from. Every single Java program that you will write will have a main method because you always need a place to start from. So that's a basic introduction to the Java program. The problem with this is that the computer can't understand all of this text. It needs to have this program in a format that it can understand. And so we're going to do the first step which is called compiling the program. So if you just open up run, remember the shortcut is Windows key plus R and type in CMD to open up the command terminal. Here is the command terminal. If I show you the folder that the hello.java program is in, you can see it's it's closely related you can see it's closely related to this location here. There's two r commands that you're going to learn today. One of them is DIR. It makes a listing of all the folders and files in this directory. Directory is just a fancy name for folder. So if I type in DAR, you can see that there's a whole bunch of other folders. You can see their folders because they've got DAR on the, fi on the side. The ones that don't have DAR are just normal files. So you can see desktop is within the monkey folder. So if we now want to go into the desktop folder, we type cd, cd is short for change directory, and then we just, t then we just type in desktop, and you can push tab to autocomplete auto it. Now we're in the desktop folder, we still need to get into test java, so we need to say cd test java. Now if we push dar, 
to a list of files and folders, we can see that we've got hello.java here. Now we can compile hello.java into a format that Java will be able to understand. To do that, just type java c, java compiler, hello.java. Push enter and you'll notice that nothing really seems to happen. That's a good sign. That means there haven't been any errors in compiling your program. If you now look in the folder, you can see there's a new file called hello.class. That means you've successfully compiled your Java program. Okay, now that we've compiled the program, we can run the program. So basically, all you need to do is type in Java and then the name of the class that has the main method in it, which is hello. So just type in Java hello and you can see so you can see that our Java program has run and has output some text. So that's all there is to creating, compiling and running a Java program. Now remember that this hello class code is going to be put up on the She Knows It website. So you can take that and play around with it. Compile it first and run the program and then you can edit some of these values here. Maybe change a change number round or something and just see what happens. You don't have to understand what the program is doing at this stage. But hopefully it will give you an idea of how the program will work. So I'll see you next tutorial.